everybody, welcome back to Fandom Fights. I am your host, Tim Merkala. I am joined by my team partner, Nick Tuig. Nick, how are you today? Doing well. Uh, got home from work like five minutes ago. Nice. I'm tired. You are wearing multiplex branded uh, gear. I enjoy that. That's good. Uh, this match. Win, lose, or draw is probably going to be the best match you've seen in fandom this season. And you want to know why? Sure. Uh, it's all first order. It's oh, all geez. first order here today. Oh. The hosts, the manager, the players, it's all first order today. We have Tyler Butler going up against Lucas, the mass hole himself. Uh, Lucas, we just saw, uh, he knocked out Jay Burns again. Uh, for the second time that was an impressive match and the last time we saw tyler i believe was last season sometime Dude, i don't remember i believe he lost to jacoby yeah. that's correct that is what happened and i avenged him i remember now it's all coming back to me so uh yes so today it is a first order versus first order match uh let's go talk to the players right now and see what they have to say in the pro mo well, this sucks. I hate when we have to play each other. I like when we play each other, and then I hate when we play each other because one person loses, one person have, is happy. I have to console somebody, and then I have to high-five the other person. It's very mixed. Tyler, I'm just going to tell you this. If you would have beat Jacoby, possibly you would have been the Schmodown, um, which would have made you hate yourself. <laughs> and uh, second, Lucas, if you beat Jay. So you may be on the free agent list right now because I think he's somewhere on the draft board somewhere. I don't know. Listen, you don't have to pay to watch our matches, so I'm basically just making this entire promo to come watch Multiplex Entertainment. You don't have to pay. We don't do a Patreon. We don't do a draft. Um, Harloff doesn't run this. It's a great time. So you should join Multiplex Entertainment while you can. Uh, I have two great competitors, and I can't wait to see them in action, uh, play each other. It's going to be a great match. Tyler, do what you do best. Take it to sudden death. <laughs> Lucas, do what you be do and piss off Tim by bantering between the questions. <laughs> Let's do this and have a damn good time. Brad Bird's my favorite director. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay, uh, let's get into the match with the round number one. Here's how it's going to work. Uh, there are going to be 10 questions from 10 random categories in the realm of fandom fights. Each question is worth one point apiece. If you get all 10 questions correct, you will be issued a bonus question. Uh, you have three repeats and a challenge rule for the entirety of the match. Um, any questions as we get into round number one? All right, Nick, what's question one? Uh, question number one comes in the category of DC. And the question is, who plays mob boss Grissom in Batman 1989? Um, so I used to like this movie as a kid. Okay. Then I started to not like it as an adult. Right. And the last time I watched it, I liked it again, and Cody really? yelled at me. Well, yeah, because it's not good. So you should... We should have better taste. In he literally talked me into changing my score from a four to a three <laughs> just by his words. Five, four, four very three, high. Two, yeah. one. Pens down. Uh, Lucas, we'll start with you. Um, complete guess. Pat Hengel and Tyler. Jack Palance. Jack Palance is correct. I haven't seen that movie in like five years. <laughs> Fair. Uh, next question <laughs> is in James Bond. In GoldenEye, Boris Grishenko is a hacker who uses one hand to hack. What does he do with his other hand while he does this? Did I say I, that name right? You did. I was hoping for like a Russian accent, but that's okay. You still got it right. Well done. That's fair. Oh, now I know who you're talking about. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I did not read this match before we started, so <laughs> I knew you wrote it, and I just went on five four, okay three two one pens down uh we will start with tyler yes spins his pen and lucas i had a much more general answer i said eat <laughs> we can accept tyler's answer yeah all right perfect so what's next the Wait, next question was cody talking about the last question or is he talking about i think he was talking about the first question being uh funny 
<laughs> Are you saying, Cody, we should challenge that on the grounds that the hacker does at some point eat during the day? No. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what are we doing? Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. It sounded like there might have been a challenge. I'm going to check out. It wasn't in 89, but it totally was. All right. Stop texting me. Uh, your third question comes in the category of Pixar. And the question is, what is the name of the toy on the shelf that Woody talks to in Toy Story 2? Um, this movie's delightful. Yeah. In the Please. meantime, do you know how to mute uh, text notifications on a Mac? Uh, just close the app, right? No. And it'll stop popping up. You would think. No. <laughs> Five, four, three. Cody's the expert, too. One. Pens down. Uh, Lucas. Is it Cuddles? And Tyler. Said Wheezy? Wheezy is correct. Having a great match here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Next question is an MCU. In Ant-Man and the Wasp, the second quantum tunnel that is created in the mid credit scene is located inside of what? You think if I set my status to away, I will no longer get the notification? Maybe like a do not disturb or something? Invisible? That could be it. Because it's just the same messages you're getting to your phone, right? Yeah. Like yeah, I don't... Put, put your phone on do not disturb. You think that would do it? Or like It's all connected. It has asked for a password. I don't know a password. Yikes. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Pens down. Tyler, we'll start with you. All right. Takes place in a van. And Lucas. It's also said the van. We can accept both those answers. So Lucas gets on the board. It's now four to one um, as Tyler has yet to miss. Uh, the fifth question comes in the category of Star Wars. And the question is, what type of creature does Han ride to find Luke in the blizzard on Hoth at the beginning of The Empire Strikes Back? Is this your favorite? Yeah. Yeah. It's not really even close when I think about it. Not really at all. And the rope's good. There's, there's other ones that I, I, yeah, I like love all three of the originals, yeah. but this is like, it's pretty not even close. On the wall there. Five, four, three. Is the creature in the poster? Pens down. It is, actually. I think so. Uh, 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 Lucas. It's a tauntaun. And Tyler. Tauntaun? Uh, yeah, I missed yeah, it. That looks fine to me. Okay. Nick? I, that's how I would... It sounds phonetically the same to me. Okay, cool. I'm going to say yes. All right. All right. So, next question is in Worlds of DC. In Birds of Prey. What type of structure is Roman Sionis killed at? Uh, Cody's in a type of mood today, I'm noticing. <laughs> yeah, I, something probably happened today. Something right? happened today. I, I mean, it probably. I mean, uh, or if we're being honest with ourselves, we have these feelings all the time, but we just don't usually vocalize them as much as Mr. Newberry. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. One. Heads down. Uh, I think we're to to Tyler uh, first. I said it was like a duck. Keep it up. Okay. And Lucas? I said the pier next to the ocean. I think we can accept both those answers. That's, yeah. Wasn't it crazy how Tyler's internet broke up the same time as Kim? <laughs> yeah, I wonder if we're almost <laughs> in the same place or not. No, it was nutty. Uh, all right, your next question. Comes in the category of horror icons. How does Freddy kill Rod Lane in A Nightmare on Elm Street? Uh, spooky time. Oh, it's it's your favorite. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. You love to be spooked. No. Yeah. One time I punched an actor who scared me at like a theme park, and I was like, "What's up?" <laughs> Wait, this is like last week. Yeah. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Lucas. Sucks him into the bed. And Tyler. It hangs him in the cell. Hangs him in the cell yeah. is correct. Confuse the guys. The bed was going <laughs> deaf. Yeah, confuse the characters. All right. Next is Wizarding World. 
When Harry brings back people from the dead using the Resurrection Stone in the Deathly Hallows Part 2, what is the first question he asks Sirius? We'll take a paraphrased version of it, too. It doesn't need to be word for word. Freddy's coming for you, Nick. No. (laughs) That's what's happening right now. I can feel it. I'll never sleep again. One, two, Freddy's coming for you. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Uh, Tyler. I said, is it painful? And I said, does it hurt to die? I'm leaning towards only taking Lucas's answer. Same. Uh, yeah, we were specifically looking for the death part in there. So uh, with that, that is Tyler's first miss. No perfect rounds, but it is still seven to four as we get into the next question. Uh, the penultimate question comes in the category of fandom Oscars. What 2000s Disney live action film was nominated for five Oscars, but won none of them? Uh, you love the Oscars. I'd rather Freddy Krueger um, come in and kill me. That's fair. When you think about that rhyme, does that mean like the kids knew that their friends were getting like picked off by a serial killer and they were like, let's make a jump rope rhyme out of it? No, I think it happened after the fact with like the stories and stuff. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Uh, we will start with Lucas. Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl. And Tyler. Also say Pirates of the Caribbean. I I think we can only oh, that's tough. I, I think we can only <laughs> I think we can only take Lucas's answer. Because yeah, we need the whole title and it's Curse of the Black Pearl. You think so, Nick? Yeah. That's where I'm leaning, yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh so with that, uh it's seven to five as we get into the final question, which is in Marvel. Regular old Marvel. In the new mutants. Danny's powers cause a giant version of what animal to attack people? The best movie of 2020. Uh, no, <laughs> but uh, you love this movie. I think it will always hold a, a nice place in my heart considering like, I just wasn't able to go see a movie, and then I did. And I was like, you know what? I thought this was going to be bad because it was like postponed for like seven Five, years. Four, but I kind of like it. Two, one, pens down. Uh, we'll start with Tyler. Said a wolf. And Lucas. I also said a wolf. And you would both be incorrect. The answer is a bear. Never invoke Jim Green's name. <laughs> <All right. laughs> so at the end of round number one, Tyler's in the lead with seven, Lucas behind with five. Uh, as we get into round number two, here's how it's going to work. We're going to bring up the wheel from wheeldecide.com. Each player is going to get a chance to spin the wheel. If you like what you spin the first time, you can keep it, or you can choose to spin again, but you have to keep whatever you spin the second time. You will get five questions worth two points a piece, but you can check the multiple choice, and it devalues it to be worth one. Stealing is available. I'm not going to yell at you. I'm not going to yell at the first order is what I said. So stealing is available. Okay. So uh, the categories on the wheel are as follows. We've got MCU, Pixar, Fandom Oscars, Marvel, Wizarding World, Mission Impossible, Middle Earth, and DreamWorks Animation. So Tyler, you are in the lead. Uh, Do you want to spin first or second? I'll go first. I missed okay. them. Is Swashbuckling Adventures on here? Uh, <laughs> all right, Tyler is spinning first. So uh, here's the spin for Mr. Butler. Or Bettler, depending on your origin. Uh, Wizarding World. Tyler, would you like to keep it or spin again? I say respin, probably, unless we can break that yeah. down to just Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs> we can spin it. We're going to respin. <laughs> all right. We are respinning. Hope we have the Superman slice. <laughs> Lands on Mission Impossible. There you go. <laughs> I, are you okay with that? 
I guess we don't have a choice. <laughs> it almost landed on point of choice again. So. <laughs> All right. Uh, Nick, you want to go ahead and give Tyler's questions in Mission Impossible? I shall. Tyler, are you prepared for your questions in the category of Mission Impossible? Let's yeah. All right. Your first question. In Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, who accompanies Ethan by helping him stop an assassination at the opera? Um, Benji. Final answer. That is correct for two points. Your second question. How are Naya and Ambrose connected in Mission Impossible 2? They were a couple. You accept that for two points. Your third question. Which real-life news anchor does Benji impersonate at the beginning of Mission Impossible Fallout in order to trick Nils Delbrook? Wolf Blitzer. That's correct for another two points. Your penultimate question. What type of transportation does Stealth attempt to escape the train in during the finale of Mission Impossible? Uh, helicopter. That is correct for another two points. And your final question. Who plays IMF Assistant Director Musgrave in Mission Impossible 3? Lawrence Fishburne. That is incorrect. <laughs> you get to answer a two point. Is it Alec Baldwin? That is also incorrect. Oh. Uh, we're looking for Charlie, Charlie Crudup. Yeah. <laughs> Got too cocky. I saw the look in Tyler's eyes as the light left it. Uh, so uh, Tyler goes eight for 10. Uh, brings his total up to 15. Um, is that what you have, Nick? Yeah. All right, Lucas is still behind with five. We'll bring back in Cody, and we'll bring back Leo. For someone who didn't seem confident in that category, that did not seem like an unconfident <laughs> uh, category. All right, Tyler, I need you to smile a little bit more. Uh, All right, so Lucas, you land on Marvel. Can we just have Spider-Man? <laughs> okay, I think we respin this. It's too big. Yeah. We yeah, spent. We spent. We need two categories. Here we go. <laughs> he didn't have time to study. It's uh, we'll free spin. Oh no, we'll take it. Was, uh, <laughs> it was a free <laughs> spin. <laughs> All right. Well, you get spinners' <laughs> choice. We'll, we'll, sorry. Keep, we'll keep what we want. You want right. to go Wizarding World, right? Yeah. Let's take Wizarding World. <laughs> let's do this. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Oh, we won. Yeah, we get the respin, and then there it is. Okay. <laughs> Lucas, are you ready for your questions of the Wizard of the I am. I am. All right, your first question. What is Newt attempting to appeal during his visit with the Ministry at the start of the Crimes of Grindelwald? Multiple choice. All right, your options are A, the discontinuing of his book, B, the travel ban placed on him. C, the capture of creatures by the ministry. Or D, the order to kill Credence. Is it B? That is correct for one point. Uh, I thought you might be more specific than that, so that's why I went multiple. Oh, well, here we go. Your second question. What is at the core of Lucius Malfoy's wand? Unicorn hair? That is incorrect. Tyler, chance for a two point steal. Yeah, I have no idea. Uh, Tail of Phoenix. <laughs> uh, that is also incorrect. We are looking for Dragon Heartstring. Ah, crap. All right, Lucas, your third question Who gets cursed by a necklace in the Half Blood Prince? Katie Bell. That is correct for two points. Your fourth question. What is the name of the creature that lies in the Chamber of Secrets in the Chamber of Secrets? Basilisk. That is correct for two points. And your final question. Who opens the chest holding the real Moody at the end of the Goblet of Fire?
five. Four. Repeat the question. Yeah, it's going to be Lucas's first repeat. Who opens the chest holding the real Moody at the end of the Goblet of Fire? Elvis Dumbledore? That is incorrect. Tyler, chance for a two point steal. I'll say Snape. That is correct for two points. <laughs> All right, so at the end of round number two, uh, Lucas gets his total up to 10. Tyler is up to 17. Is that what you have, Nick? Yeah. All right, so let's get into the betting round. Here's how it's going to work. We are going to say a category. Then the players are going to have to decide whether they want to bet zero, one, or two points on the question. They get the question right. They gain the points. They get the question wrong. They lose the points. Uh, we will play until someone is mathematically eliminated or the score reaches zero. Any questions, gentlemen? All right, uh, Cody, am I bringing you in on each question? What's going on? Sure, okay. Uh, so the first category that you guys will be able to bet points on is Planet of the Apes. I want to make you guys more uncomfortable with what I have to say today. Um, uh, I think both, what's the score? 17 to 10. So Tyler, not necessarily have to bet. There's an mm -hmm. obvious strategy for each of us, I think. Yeah. I, uh, they're, I think they're, the you, extreme, they're the extreme ends of the same. I think you both need to do the extreme end. One, no, one, yeah. Okay. <laughs> this do Coho, me. do Scully. That's the, <laughs> this makes me all uncomfortable. <laughs> you make okay. me uncomfortable. I'm good, though. Okay. Uh, Tyler, we'll get a bet starting with you. Go two. And Lucas. Two. All right, your question in Planet of the Apes. Who plays Caroline, Will's girlfriend, in Rise of the Planet of the Apes? Uh, this movie's awesome. Yeah. Really enjoy it. Right. Just just did a rewatch of this trilogy. and Cool. Chef's Kiss. Damn right. Five. I hate it. Four. <laughs> Three, two, <laughs> one. Pens down. Lucas, we'll start with you. Frida Pinto? And Tyler. Frida Pinto. Both are correct. So Lucas goes up to 12. Tyler goes up to 19 as we get into the next category, which is what, Nick? DC. Be original. Why are you just copying with Planet <laughs> of the Apes? Jeez. Um... <laughs> Do whatever you want. I just want to hear and talk to my other faction mates because how are you two doing, Tim? Nick? Great. This makes me so uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm like, uh, this stresses me out. So, what was the category again? It's DC. If the answer is right, CD, you will make me very happy. Do we have bets? <laughs> Yes. Uh, Tyler, we'll start with you. It's going to point safe move zero. All right, Lucas. Two. Okay, what's the question? Your question is, which DC film features an out-of-control bulldozer, a private school, and a villain's base in an amusement park? Um, not only do we have a look of confusion from the players, but also from the manager backstage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the macaw can't what can't the macaw do she can't hear anything okay. I'm headphoned today <laughs> five four three two one pens down we'll start with Tyler for stats Just guess, uh, return of the swamp thing and Lucas Constantine both are incorrect the correct answer is Supergirl the classic <laughs> Supergirl. Which is a movie so, I've definitely watched. Uh, Lucas <laughs> bet two. He goes down to 10. So it is now 10 to 19 in favor of Tyler as we go to the next question, which is in the category of the MCU. Oh, I thought I wasn't invited back. Okay, oh, well then... <laughs> <laughs> then... <laughs> Unless you actually are giving advice to people, but... How Aaron, rude. Just, Aaron, Lucas, <laughs> bet two points. Tyler, zero. 
Okay, have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get that starting with Tyler. Keep it interesting a little bit, at least uh, one. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> All right, the question is, oh, man, in MCU. What type of location is Killmonger in when we first meet him in Black Panther? It's, uh, turned into something. <laughs> it really has, hasn't it? Oh, man. My life. If I write an awesome position, is that a correct answer? Five, <laughs> four, three. Think. <laughs> Two, one. Pens down. We will start with Tyler. To the museum. And uh, Lucas. It's a museum. Both are correct. All right. So uh, both are correct. It is now 20 to 12 in favor of Tyler as we get into the uh, next category, which is what, Nick? Uh, the Wizarding World. Uh, Ty, uh, Tim was hoping not to bring me back in. Um, I'm saying... I don't know, Tyler. You bet what the fuck you want, apparently. You don't want to listen to me, uh, your manager here. And uh, Lucas, um, you can't bet more than two. But if you put a times multiplier next to it, you may get away with it. And we haven't used our challenge, so remember that. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, let's get a bet starting with Lucas. So I, I bet two to the two power. No, you just bet two. And uh, Tyler. <laughs> two. Tyler! <laughs> oh, okay. Tyler is legitimately... Tyler, you don't have to throw the match for me. We can be friendly and you don't have to throw the match for me. All right, what's the question, Nick? Here's the question. Uh, in the Order of the Phoenix, Harry has a dream about himself and Mr. Weasley, but in the dream, he sees himself as a what? <sighs> I'm now stressed out. My blood, my blood pressure is through the roof. The macaw is yelling from this room to that room. I heard you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. What a time to be alive. We should do a Star Wars thing. <laughs> what? That's down, Tyler. We'll start with you. Is that a snake? And Lucas. A snake. And your winner, <laughs> Tyler Butler. The answer was Snake with a final score of 22 to 14. Uh, Nick, a very entertaining match. Let's bring it in, Cody. <laughs> Once again. Uh, good job, guys. Go ahead. Uh, I don't know how much more airtime I get before we get canceled. Um, listen. <laughs> It was a great time. Um, for seventeen dollars a month, you can watch me tell Tyler how to bet, and Tyler can tell him <laughs> to fuck off. And for twelve dollars, you can actually see Lucas um, not watch fandom films and still score pretty good points in the fandom match. So hey, this is a good match, um, Tyler. Um, we're gonna have to tighten up some betting. Uh, you hit the last questions on Pat. Proud of you. Um, but uh, yeah. I don't know what Tyler's next opponent is. We um, do know. Lucas. We do. Uh, Who he is, is it? now playing the rematch? Cameron Holtzman. <laughs> okay, I'm really looking forward to that match um, because <laughs> Tyler already not. beat him last time. So yeah. Um, <laughs> did we go to sudden death in that match? You sure yeah. did. Okay, let's try to see Tyler. That's what you try to do. You bet, and then you try to go to sudden death. Like your your instincts is like, hey, I need a board in my hand to end the game. With like, if I miss a question, I lose. I don't know if you're a thrill junkie, but knock that shit off. Um, that's not first order material. That's Kingsman material right there. I need you to knock it off, or a trade will be made. Um, Lucas uh, will play somebody later on, probably tournament time. So yep. Lucas can focus in on school. And then uh, when school's done for a little bit, maybe, or something, he can start studying a little bit for matches. But, yeah, this is a good match. I'm excited. I think Tyler can beat Holtzman again um, because Edgar Wright isn't in fandom yet and probably never will be. So And musicals aren't here either. So we have a shot. So, yay. That's fair. All right. Well, Join our Patreon. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't exist. Uh, Nick, final thoughts on the match. Ah, uh, this was a time. And... Uh... <laughs> I had 
fun. Uh, we don't have a Patreon, but just I like money. Yeah. Send no, it right along. That's fair. I will say this uh, for the craziness that ensued, we got this done in 30 minutes. Uh, that's that's and we I have some edits to make too. So I mean that's I mean we we rocked and rolled today. It was good good stuff. Snappy snappy. So we will see Tyler back very soon to play Cameron Holtzman. We'll see Lucas back uh, in the summer series tournament. But guys, don't go away because the uh, this is just the undercard today. We have another match coming up. It's the title match. It's the big one. Nick Tuig is taking on Caleb Coho. It's going down uh, tonight. At 90 ST, so be on the lookout for that. So we will see you very soon with that match. But for all of the first order, uh, which includes Nick and myself, we will see you guys very soon. Bye bye. We are so glad you came. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye now. Bye. Bye bye. Remember, please discard all candy wrappers and popcorn containers in the nearest trash receptacle. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs> okay. Are they all gone? Uh, is, is, there, is everybody gone? <laughs> huh? Good. <laughs>